Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you guys are having a blessed night in the Lord. I pray, um, let me go, let, let's see who's on here. Um, go ahead, please tag and share. I'm looking for something. Hold on. Oh, I want to make sure I make sure my camera is clear. Hold on. I know I should have did that before, but I was writing. Praise God. Hallelujah. How y'all doing tonight? This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, Prophetess Chainer, I was calling you, honey bun. <laughs> uh, praise God. All right. So I have four videos to do back to back to back. I pray that you join me. If you don't, don't worry. I'm going to roll anyway. Praise God. Hallelujah. God's been really talking to me a lot. I'm full in the spirit. And I'm telling you, we're living in the best time ever. But hold on. Also, it's a training time. This is where God is training people right now. In this season, if it feels tough, if it feels rough, if it feels like, oh my God, you got to roll with the punches. Have you ever wanted something so bad, like a job, a husband, or whatever the case may be? I got to get this. But it's the same way you got to do with what God have entrusted into you. As far as your gifting, your calling, your destiny, you have to train for this thing. That means you got to listen. You got to move. You And I'll be honest with you, I finally got it. You see, I, I'm transparent on purpose. Not that I'm trying to be all that, but that way I break that thing down for you and show you how I did it. I feel so great since I really start working out. God been, I was wondering, I'm going to turn this phone off. Now I see how I, we ain't even doing that tonight. I'm going to tell you that right now. We're not even doing that. Because every time I get on here, there's always somebody want to talk to me. And I and, and I know it's not really them per se, but I'm sure going to turn this off. Hold on just a minute. We're not even doing that. Mm -mm. So praise God. So I, I have to be transparent. God told me, oh, Lord, y'all just don't know I got so much in me. So please bear with me, okay? I was exercising today, and God said, Deanna, the reason why it's been so hard is because when I'm getting ready to take you, he said, you think you've been through something. He said, honey, you ain't been through nothing. He said, I know it looks like it's been lacking your life for three or four years. Come on, somebody. Y'all know it's the truth. And so he says, because I had to make sure that you were ready to go where I'm getting ready to take you in that place of wealth, in that place of more anointing, in that place of going up. He said, because it's not no joke. He said, that's why people fall. He said, I don't want to see you fall. He said, so you got to do it my way if you want to stand. And I don't want to fall. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We know people that have fell and we're not bashing nobody. I don't want to be that person. So if it takes a little minute and if I got to get this thing right. And he said, the one thing that I've been telling you to do is lose weight. You can't go where I want you to go. Go all heavy. He said, because you're going to have to move. You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to fast. And I said, okay, God, I'm going to have to stop eating. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm just being real. There are some things that, that we're stopping. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. It's not the body else. It's not the devil. It's not this. We're stopping it. We got to get in position, God says. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I'm saying that I, I feel God like never before. I'm hearing him clear. And I already heard, heard him clear before. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But now I hear him even clearer. I'm talking about it's so, it's like, ooh. Like when I was 1996, I said, oh, 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 devil, you in trouble. You in trouble because guess what? I'm going to do everything he said. Deanna, lose the weight. Deanna, you're getting ready to move. Deanna, you're getting ready to do whatever he say I'm doing. I don't even care. I don't even care. I feel like I'm training, and, and I am. He says, you are. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I must go ahead and get to the title. It says, God uses broken people because he allowed them to get broken, to fill them up with his spirit. A lot of people want to shun you. A lot of people want to act like you ain't got nothing in you. Oh, I'm just going to be real with you. A lot of people acting like you're not anointed and not appointed because you had a lack moment in your life. Oh, I know what that feels like. Oh, walk with me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. A lot of people are mistreating you because of where you're at, but they don't see where God is getting ready to take you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God used broken people because he's the one that allowed them to get broke. Oh, come on, somebody. But, but, but what they don't know is that why you were broken. He was taking something out, putting it in. Taking something out, putting it in. Oh, come on, somebody. He was strengthening you up in your heart, your mind, your soul, so you can go where he got you to want to, where he needs you to go. Praise God. You know, I got to slow down. I got the, I got that country in me. And I talk fast already. And I get so excited when I'm talking about God. So please bear with me. So stop acting like broken people are not who they call to be. The way y'all mistreat people because they don't have money, they don't have a car, they don't have this, they don't have that. That's going to be the ones that y'all going to look up one day and they're going to be like, how they get there? Because God did it. You shunned them. Right now, some of y'all ministry in your homes, your family mis disrespect you. They say all kind of things. D don't, don't worry about it. I'm telling you what God is telling me. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all my story. God says, shut 
your mouth. Don't say nothing. He said, because guess what? I'm going to need to bless you. So we don't need no cursing. Don't curse yourself. Don't say nothing to them because I got them. You just stay focused. You just stay focused because guess what? You got some place to go. They're going to still be right there while you going to nations. While you going to the nations. While you going to the nations. I'm prophesying to somebody on here tonight. You better receive it. That's why you're in the position you're in. Do not despise it. Do not regret it. Do not hate it. I know it's hard. Oh, come on, somebody. If anything, know anything about hardness, I know. But I also know when God got something, because I know what he told me. I know what he showed me years ago. And God is not a man that he should lie. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So sometimes it ain't the devil stopping us. That's ourselves because we're not getting in alignment. We're not getting in position with what he said. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the only reason he allowed you to be broken because he was filling you up with his spirit. He was filling you up with the anointing. He was letting you hear and let you see like never before. He, he was, he, 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 he's molding you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And pruning is done alone. I mean, oh, come on, somebody. You always know when you get ready to go to the next level because everybody will start tripping with you. You'll start losing family, friends, boyfriends, girlfriends. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You'll start using husbands, wives, dogs, cats. I'm just being real with you. It'll look like, who was going? Did I do something? And to be honest with you, you'll have friends like Job friends. You must have did something. You must have sinned. You must have did something because some ain't right. But they have no idea that God is just, he, he's pruning you. He's moving you. He's moving you because he's getting ready to use you like you ain't never been used in your life. Hallelujah to his name. I feel the glory of God. I feel the anointing of God. Don't you understand the best is yet to come? And this ain't no feel-good message. This ain't no motivational speech. This is the truth from the Lord thy God himself. Hallelujah. You were supposed to miss it. They were supposed to leave you. You were supposed to get fired. They were supposed to act that way. They were supposed to leave you. They were supposed to turn their back. Hallelujah to his name. Don't you understand? So, honey, you just going to have to get strong in the Lord and say, <laughs> if it go fine, if you go fine, but I shall. Though they slay me, or though he slay me, come on, somebody, yet I will trust in the Lord. Don't worry about what nobody say. Don't worry about what they do. Just stay in position. It is so important right now to stay in position. Don't you dare move. You're closer than you ever thought. Some of you have cried so long. You've been through the fire. You've been through the pain. Oh, my God. I see it in the spirit. But don't you dare give up. Because I see that joy coming. I see that blessing coming. I see that husband coming. I see that wife coming. I see that baby coming. I see that job coming. I'm going to be real with you. Honestly, let's talk about jobs. God is getting ready to position people in kingdom positions, your own businesses. But you're so stuck at that job because you're used to that paycheck, you don't want to leap. Can I tell y'all something? We're in, a, we, 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 we in a season of leaping. And I don't know about you, but I feel a leap. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't see everything just because I'm prophetic. I don't see everything, but I know I'm leaping. I, I don't know everything just because I'm prophetic, but I'm leaping. I, I, don't, I don't have all this and that to work with, but I'm leaping. And I pray that you learn to leap too. Don't worry about it. We walk by faith and not by sight, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. So I got four videos to do, one down. So I hope you be with me. Roll with me. Don't roll with me. You get rolled over. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm getting too, you know, you know, you know, when God start using you, you feel like unstoppable. I'm serious. I'm talking about, I can't tell y'all. I wish I did this long time ago. I knew God had told me, lose the weight, lose the weight, lose the weight. And y'all saw me, I'll go up, down, up, down. I promise you, it ain't going to be no more of that. I'm going to be consistent because now I know that that one thing could have been stopping everything. I know it sounds crazy, but no, no. Just like he told me, I need you to move. And you ain't going to move all big. You ain't going to move with them talking about you got diabetes. You ain't going to be able to move. So I need you to take care of yourself. Because you will never go where I need you to go if you can't be healthy. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know some of y'all don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. I had to get the message and the memo. I mean, God could say it, but unless you receive it, oh, I just said something. There are so many times that God has said something and God want to do something in your life. You haven't received it. And, and, and cause, cause we don't want to hear it. Or, or it's a hard thing to do. Yes. Nothing good comes easy. You might as well just forget about that one. I holla. The world tries to make you think that it's anything fast. Don't last. Y'all know it's the truth. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. So like I say, I got a foe. So this is what God says. I got three more. So I hope y'all roll with me. So God bless you. This is apostle Deanna Dixon. Let's get it. Roll out. So just for that is who you are. Uh.